9.30, it's quite cold. I've got just one side of the camp behind me and I've come to a quiet spot. It's all been so surprising, but the conditions are harsh. So MSF is having to uh, deal with the sanitation and rubbish collection, uh, latrines. There aren't enough hot showers for everybody. When it rains, the sand here, which is very much like sand on a beach, gets very muddy, it's cold. We're very near the sea, so there's a driving, biting wind. Most of the structures are now wooden. MSF has been engaging in building wooden structures, uh, but they don't have electricity within them, and it's three or four people to a structure. At least it's dry somehow. I've been told by people, uh, if their clothes get wet, it's just nearly impossible to dry them again, so they bin them. In the clinics of MSF, we're seeing minor injuries, skin conditions, scabies, diarrheal conditions, chest infections. Two or three people I've spoken to are having lots of upper respiratory tract inflammation, irritation from tear gas being used by the police as a measure of crowd control every evening by the entrance to the tunnel. So, you know, there are injuries, there's violence, there's illness, uh, very difficult conditions in which to live, um, but they all seem to have this hope, this... Uh, this undeniable will to get to the United Kingdom.